Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Nick Cannon just announced, I guess this morning, the birth of what, his 10th child? I can't even keep up at this point. What is this? This is his 10th child fifth baby mama. And this time it's a dark skinned girl. And I saw a lot of people for some reason celebrating this as if it was cute because now he finally got with dark skinned Lanisha Cole. Let me share my screen here. So this is Lanisha, beautiful girl. She was in one of the music videos that Pharrell did back in the day. I forget which one. Um, but he posted the video. And so this is what he wrote. Introducing Onyx Ice Cole Cannon. Once again, today, I am in awe of the divine feminine. God has given me and at Miss Lanisha Cole the privilege of hosting an angel here on earth. I vow to protect, provide, guide, and love this child to the best of my abilities. In this moment of celebration and jubilee, I wish to mute any low vibrational frequencies and only rejoice with the highest class of civilization who are truly aligned with our purpose here in this dimension. Shut the fuck up. Shut up with the mush mouth bullshit. I, I'm not reading any more of this nonsense. I'm done. I'm not reading that shit. He is trash for even. <laughs> Shut up, Nick. Shut the hell up. The fact that he can sit there and try to gaslight people and say that uh, I rebuke any uh, low vibrational energy. We're only in the moment of celebration and jubilee. Like, shut up. This is literally like your 10th child by a foot. Like, he's literally had three kids in the past, what, two, three months? He has another two on the way. Hold on. I wrote down the list. Hold on. Let me pull up my damn notes. He needs to shut up with this bullshit. Okay, so by the end of this year, he's due to have 11 children, two baby mamas that he currently has. Um, the second baby mama is pregnant with his third. The baby mother whose son died, remember they had a baby who died a few months ago. She's pregnant again. And then the other baby's mother who had the twins by him, she's pregnant again with twins. And then he just had this one the other day. I just think at this point, it's ridiculous. And the sad part is his archetype is what's being pushed out there as what a black man is. That a black man cannot be faithful. They have to have multiple women, multiple baby mamas. And, you know, for people to be celebrating this, like, oh, he finally got a dark skinned chick. Kudos to like, what is there to celebrate? She's the fifth baby's mother. There's nothing cute about this. I wonder if he would be cool with his daughter that he has from Mariah Carey. If she decided to be somebody's concubine and side chick and be babe mama number five to some random man. I wonder if he'd be okay with that. You know, I just, I find this very interesting that people are even like celebrating this. I, I think at this point, this is mental illness. Something is not right here. He's lacking in something. And he's trying to project by having all these children with all these women. And I don't just blame Nick. The women are to blame as well. They're, they're clowns in the circus too. The only people I feel bad for are the children. Because see, right now, everything is cute. Yeah, it's that dusty hotel mush mouth shit. You know what I'm saying? Where, you know, he can, he can fuck different women and create all these kids, but don't let them do it. And that's that bullshit. A lot of men try and run that game. It's all bullshit. It's just an excuse for them to have their cake and eat it too. Okay. So my thing is this, if you're going to be out here being reckless like that and, and acting like, you know, this is just some hotel deep spiritual, sh it's not just say what it is. You're a man whore. You want to have a bunch of kids by different women. Stop trying to bring spirituality into it. And, and, you know, um, vibrations and try it, It's not that deep. It's not that deep. I grew up with guys like this in the hood. 
Okay, who have 13 kids by 10 different women. You're not doing anything spiritual. You're not doing anything deep. You're not doing anything woke. You're not doing anything religious. You're just a whore. You're, you're somebody who can't control, you know what I'm saying, their peen. And you like cooch. And these women are, you know, goat diggers. And they want attention. They want to be attached to something. It's that simple. Like, I, I can't stand when people try to make stuff more deep than what it needs to be. This is not deep. I have friends who are like, who have like 10 to 13 siblings. Their, their mothers are like maybe the fifth or the eighth baby mom. Like, this is not new. Okay. This has been going on since the dawn of man. But I hate how he's trying to mix it with like some type of, you know, religious spirituality when it's not. You're just a nigga out here having a bunch of kids and creating single homes. Just call it what it is. And I don't even like using that word, but that's just all this is. It's a bunch of nigga bullshit. And you're trying to make it seem spiritual when it's not. Then he's a grown man. He got money. He can do what he wants to do. But once again, he's only doing this and people are only condoning this because of his status and the fact that he has money. Everything is sweet now because all these people are little. These are all new babies and everything's all good. Remember, everything was sweet when Fetty Watt was doing this a few years ago. Then the woman started waking up and realizing he's just out here creating a bunch of homes. He's not seeing my kid. He hasn't seen my daughter. So it's going to be very interesting two, three years from now when we start seeing them online, throwing subliminal shots at him, throwing subs at the other baby mothers and things like that. Meanwhile, Mariah Carey's out here like, I don't know any of these people. <laughs> Poor Mariah being attached to this fuck shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know that is my girl right there. I'm like, I just feel so damn bad that her legacy is even attached to this nonsense. You know what I'm saying? Who is some BS? I just, I, it's just, it's just annoying. I just can't stand when people try and play mind games with people and try and gaslight. So if you don't agree with this fuck shit, you're low vibrational. Oh, okay. So it's low vibrational to encourage young girls to to get married, have kids inside a wedlock. It's low vibrational to tell people, you know what I'm saying, to create healthy homes and healthy black families. That's low vibrational if people don't agree with your lifestyle. No, it's called an opinion. You can do what you want to do and people have the right to have their opinion about the way you're making your moves. There's nothing cute about this. And I feel bad for all these babies being born into this nonsense. At this point, I just don't find it amusing. Um, you know, I wish these children the best because these children are at no fault. They didn't ask to be here. And y'all know I love me some babies. Um, but I I'm not going to entertain the foolishness with the fake congratulations and, oh, another baby. This is so fun. No, this is a real human being, you know, and while it's cute now, you don't know what type of repercussions this is going to have on these children, especially when they're finding out because people forget the shit is cute when, when kids are little and they don't know, but what happens when they start Googling? What happens when they start finding out how they got here and how literally they were all born in the same year as other children? Like, I just, this is, it's just not cute. It's not funny. I just don't find it. It's not cute. There's something logically off with everybody. It's almost like these women, they're all trying to one up each other. Oh, well, you had his baby. I'm going to have his baby next. Oh, well, you had a set of twins. Let me herp and try and have a set. Like, I just like they're just trying to one up each other. Well, you, you know you need a dark skin, babe, mama. Everybody else is white. They're light, bright, damn near white. They're racially ambiguous. I want to be your dark skin, babe, mama. That's just what it comes out to me. It's just like some weird competition. It's just weird. Latest news in the streets. Join us, sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.